Hey, what's going on family? How you doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm Mags. Nice to see you. We are going to go ahead. I've got 10 Zodiac signs face cards left here. We're pulling at random. This is going to be your end of the month reading. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. These messages are going to be for sun, moon, rising, Venus for the sign of cancer. What's going on, cancer? How are you, loves? Let's get into it. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning. And thank you for connecting us with you. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you, forever and ever. Amen. Spirit, I ask that you connect me with cancer for the greatest and highest good, ultimate abundance, sustenance, love, forgiveness, and everything in between. Please bring true, concise messages through me. Use me, Spirit. Let's go. I'm seeing a creek with a uh, dam built from stone. This uh, reminds me of something from over 200 years ago. I'm seeing an old wooden building along the side with one of those wooden wheels with the buckets in it to make the, uh, oh my gosh, the power of water here, the power of emotion and control thereof. Very interesting cancer. This is ancient knowledge for you. This is something coming in from a potential past life. What is this spirit? Anything else? Cancer, the end of the month, you're receiving major downloads you have not received yet before. This is a very heightening time for you of self-discovery and enlightenment, I'm being told. What's coming in for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Thank you. The Lovers was actually in the reverse. You may be at very bad odds with a Gemini, a Geminian right now, or you're about to be. I feel a heavy conflict coming in. This is a very specific channeling. This is specifically with a Gemini, Cancer. Woo! My head just got lightheaded on that one. Take it as it resonates. Okay. We've also got prudence in the reverse. Yeah, this person's innocence is being in question right now. Uh, this is also the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who does not want to work with you. Uh, I feel like this may be someone who you've really tried to build a relationship with, whether family, friend, foe, lover. It has not gone well. Uh, there's a lot of stagnancy. There's Ace of Swords on God. Can't make it up. My cards don't lie here. So this person has been very sneaky, they are going to be sneaky. They have no intention of not being sneaky with you. Here's the fool. They are taking you for a fool. They think you don't catch on, but cancer, it's like you're seeing them for face value. Um, <clears throat> something may have occurred with this Dominion. Uh, if this is, this is, I am calling it right now. Whoever this is has heavy, heavy Gemini in their chart. Whoever this is, something happened during uh, Aries season. They may have tried to do like, What's the energy I'm catching on? So, yeah, completion. Okay. So, like, this person, I feel like cancer, I got I to gotta call it like I'm feeling it. I feel like this person, if they were not in communication with you or if you had a falling out with this person, they gave you false hope on purpose during Aries season or around the new year astrologically as a joke, as like a, as like a healing thing for themselves with no intention of your, of, of caring about your heart, your feeling, your emotions. This, this is a done deal. So whoever this is, if you have not cut them out of your life, this Dominion, I'm telling you right now, again, this is more of a personal reading here, or if it, you know, take it as it resonates, but whoever this person is, now that we're in Gemini season, they're showing up in the reverse, which is very interesting because karma's a bitch, okay? So whoever this is, I don't know what they did to you, but it was pretty, it was bad. It was wrong. Like this, what they did was morally wrong. I'm being, oh, my ears just started ringing on that. Yeah, spirit's telling me that. So whoever this person is, is just not someone who's supposed to be in your experience. They wouldn't appreciate you anyways. Does that make sense? Can't make it up well from the reverse. This person, maybe you had some type of financial tie with this person or this person, person was showing you like, I'm hearing what glitters is not gold. This person had things that glittered, but they were not gold. They were like a rust bucket with like a false veil. Does that make sense? I don't know. Or like you lost money with this person or, or dealing with this person. All right. Uh, scrap it. You know what? Let me reshuffle one more time on here. So, all right. Falling out with a Geminian. Very specific. Or someone who had Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus here. So, uh, this person is just not... Not being nice, cancer, all right? It is what it is. 
coming in for cancer please end of the month thank you Woo! swiftness fast movement fast forward movement just like you are the chariot that you are in the writer deck right i wouldn't be surprised if that popped out we've also got the queen of discs yeah you're looking really good and you're focusing on your stability uh i also feel like there actually may be an increase of anywhere from 80 dollars to 800 dollars in your bank account in the next week this could be unexpected this could have been something you've been waiting on for up to six weeks to occur i feel like this may be a refund this may be uh money that's owed to you karmically somehow it's coming in for cancer before i switch decks yeah <laughs> i can't make it up dominion spirit saw how well you handled this situation with the person i was describing at the beginning of this reading this person's going to serve major karma for it. You're, you are going to be one of their biggest lessons on personal power. This person did not have personal power. They do a really good job of masking that. Oh, Ooh, I just got chills all the way down my back. They got called out. 6.06 on the clock right when I looked up. Strength. I can't make it up, man. You came out on top of that situation, Cancer. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Let's switch decks. Any other final confirmations or anything else in my writer wait before we go to the final message from my angel oracle? That'll be a message specifically from your past on loved ones, your angel team, your spirit gang, your archangels. All right, what's coming in? Final messages for Cancer, please. I just heard the name Miranda. I'm now seeing Miranda from Sex in the City. You might be dealing with someone who's a Sex in the City type person. They've got that like, I don't know. This person's, I got a snotty attitude type thing coming in through here. Uh, I don't know. Ten of Cups. You're looking real good, emotionally fulfilled with yourself, Cancer. What is this? You may be having um, a really heightened time with your family in particular of just really getting along with them. Or that's what's coming in for you after a massive heartbreak within your family. Okay, 707. I'm getting a lot of synchronizations here. 606, 707. Uh, June 6th, July 7th may have prevalence. Maybe somebody's birthday. Maybe uh, your birthday. July 7th may be your birthday, Cancer. Uh, I do see travel coming in here. I'm seeing travel to go see family members, or even uh, if this is not your own personal family, this is uh, as in like your mom, dad, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whatever, your own family that you've created. Maybe you're moving forward with wanting to create your own family. I feel like a decision has been made if you don't have a family of your own. Yeah, I can't make it up. Bottom of the deck, there's a six of wands. Woo! Spirit says, yes, honey. Okay, they love that energy. Final message from your angel gang. Come through me. Pass it on loved ones. What do we need to relay to cancer? Use me as a clear, concise channel, please. What do they need to know advice-wise? What would you tell them? Thank you. Moon goddess. All right, so we've got some heavy divine feminine energy that's being upgraded with you, Cancer, whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter. A time of necessary upheaval, a blessing in disguise. The dust, as it settles, the gift reveals itself. Okay. This is a message from a divine feminine. And I'm getting passed on loved one energy here. My dog just came into room. Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I got chilled all down the back of my arms. Whoever this is, is in the room with me. I can feel them. Uh, this is a very specific message, Cancer. I felt like this almost might have been a personal reading. Give me one more on that. Is there any other message? Just this energy. Uh, whoever this is. This was someone very special to you with divine feminine energy that I feel is no longer here. Cancer, take it as it resonates. This won't be for everybody. This is someone you had a very close bond with of some degree. Cancer, final message from your past on loved one. What do you want me to say? Woo! Can't make it up. Cancer, there's someone really special in your life that a past on loved one is coming through me to talk to you about. Okay, we got soulmate here. Love partnership, magne att magnetic attraction between two people, union. You discover a deeper sense of self through a relationship with another. The wind just came through on that one. I can't make it up. If you are at odds with somebody in your love life and you've got a passed on feminine loved one, they are telling you, you need to make a swift U-turn or this person's about to make a U-turn. I'm telling you right now, let me read it again. Love, partnership, magnetic attraction between two people, union. You discover a deeper sense of self through a relationship with another. Cancer. 
you want to go a little bit further on a private one-on-one, -on -one, sorry, I'm holding my phone here. All the information will be in the box below. Uh, if this is where we part ways, my darling dears, thank you so much for all your time, love, and appreciation. And I'll check you out soon. Bye.